everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time stopping in, this is Speed Addict 731 and my name is Ken. First off, I'd like to say happy 4th of July, everybody. Uh, hope you have a safe and happy holiday. So, today we are going to discuss a couple things. One, it has been one month and 1,000 miles since I installed the supercharger onto the 17 GT. Also, the 18 GT MT82 Ford has finally released a TSB, so we're going to discuss that a little bit. So it's one month, 1,000 miles since I installed the blower on the car. Uh, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, no regrets in my decision. The car, um, when you're not on it, and when you're driving it normal, it acts just like it did when it was stock. Uh, it actually almost gets the same fuel mileage. I am averaging around 19 to 20 miles per gallon right now, and that is with a lot of city, some highway, and a couple pulls. So I cannot complain about the fuel mileage. And let's face it, we don't build these cars into high horsepower cars for fuel mileage. It's just an added bonus when you can have a high horsepower car and get good fuel mileage. Back in the day, that was unheard of. But, so, <clears throat> we went from running 86 mile, 85, 86 mile an hour in the eighth to 97 to 98 mile an hour in the eighth. So I'm very pleased with that. And that is with heat. Uh, it's been around 2,500, 3,000 DA, uh, high humidity. So I haven't had a break in that to actually see what the car can do. I'm looking forward to that. But I don't know if I can hold out until I get a tune for the car. I am currently looking at three tuners for the car. Uh, VMP, Lund, and Palm Beach Dyno. So if any of you have any have supercharger on your car and have any uh, experience with these tuners as far as one, communication when it comes to tuning. Uh, when you data log and send them a the data log, how long does it take for them to send you the tune back? I will be looking at remote tuning. So, how long does it take them to get you a tune back uh, once you send them a dialogue? Uh, how do they communicate with you? Uh, and also, how do you like their tune on the car? I've only had experience with one of those tuners, and that is VMP on my naturally aspirated 17 GT uh, MTA2 car that I had before. And I was very pleased. I picked up uh, two mile an hour. In the eighth mile, I went from running 86 mile an hour to 87 mile an hour to running 89 mile an hour. So, tad over two mile an hour, tad over. Uh, I put a drag pack on the car and went 90 mile tuning. I'm trying to hold out to tune the car. I'm still on the Roush tune right now. I'm trying to hold out to tune the car until uh, some cool weather comes in and get some good DA and I'm actually able to see what this car can do with the Roush tune. If I can hold out that long. I am anxious to uh, open this car up with more power. Now for the 18 GT MT82 TSB. Now first off, for those of you that don't know, I'd like to explain what a TSB is. A TSB is a technical service bulletin. Basically what that is, when there is a common problem that they have found a fix for, they issue a TSB to us technicians. Now what does that do? Well, that helps us if a vehicle comes in with a common problem, um, we're able to look at any TSBs on that vehicle and we're able to see, okay, this is, the, this is what the car is doing, this is what they're saying is wrong, and this is the fix for it, and these are the parts. Why is that a good thing and why is it not? Well, it's a good thing because Ford is acknowledging that there is a problem and uh, they have found a, they have gotten a fix for it. So that's a good thing. Now, why is it not a good thing? Well, most of the cars that are happening to right now, they're all under warranty. So you don't have to worry about this right now. Uh, years down the road, mileage down the road, when your factory warranty runs out, your vehicle is not gonna be covered uh, for this fix, okay? Also, a TSB, your vehicle has to break. You take it into the shop, and then they see the TSB, and they fix the car, okay? You cannot take the car in before the car is broke and have the repair done. 
even if they have upgraded parts to go in the transmission. If they have changed the parts and they have a fix for it, I would have liked to have seen a recall. Why a recall? Well, when a recall is issued with updated parts, whether your car is broke or not, if you have that car that is on the VIN list for that problem, so pretty much 18 GT MT82 cars would have this problem, um, providing you don't get a transmission that already has the updated parts in it. If you get a recall, you get, you're able to take your car in before it breaks. Um, as soon as you get the letter and they Ford has parts available, you take it in the dealership, you drop it off, they will perform the recall and you get your vehicle back with the upgraded parts in it. Guys, I absolutely hope that they have come, this is the fix for it. I hope that they have updated the parts and everything is great. Uh, there are a few guys out there that are on YouTube, LS Eater being one of them that has his vehicle in the shop right now, that it will have the new parts that they have coming out uh installed in it so time will tell if that is the fix i really hope so guys that uh if you take your car into the dealership the technician will have this information handy if you uh, lose third and fourth gear they'll have this information handy it is tsb 18 21 75 and basically all it states is that if a vehicle comes in 18 gt mt82 car that is experiencing uh, inability to engage third and fourth gear. They give you a list of parts to repair it, and uh, they are changing out the three fourth shift fork and the three third and fourth gear synchronizer hub and sleeve. So um, I am hoping that this is a fix for it. Like I said earlier, time will tell when the people having the repair done get their vehicle out on the road. In this video here, y'all have a safe and happy holiday. Subscribe if you have it, and we'll see you later.